for our Pinsker Street Hunt Jockey Return.
to one Stallone three to one Enderman nines tens willingly that's from 12's a little bit of money 14's bar those let's head over to Eddie and Chris yeah thanks Rish uh, some nightmare then at the top of the market his form ties into the fast finisher there at Kempton uh, that we've just seen Manion Mission he got the better of that horse uh, a couple of runs back also ties in with Glamorous Chris who didn't perform quite so well from not from not a very good draw in our first division of this handicap he's in the right place on the track isn't he some nightmare he's installed two that should be the right place uh, with the joint favorite or close second favorite Cape Columbus in stall one and they could be two big players yeah Cape Columbus was the horse that you said right at the start of the afternoon you were most interested in back in this afternoon he's he's well drawn it would seem in stall one given how races have developed this afternoon and He's got some eye-catching bits of form which suggest a marker 69 could underplay him a little bit on handicap depth. Well, his, his first run is a race at Nottingham where he finished third and showed a lot of promise and on soft ground as well. So six furlong soft ground suits and that race has worked out particularly well. The winner won a handicap at Ascot on Friday off a mark of 90. The runner-up is now, I think she finished second in a listed race the other day and she's rated 95. And the horses that finished behind Cape Columbus have also been coming out and winning handicaps off marks that suggest that 69 is a good mark. And he had a break before his last run, ran respectably at Newcastle. I think back on soft ground, six furlongs, first handicap, he, he could be too good for these off 69. Stallone was one who impressed with his appearance in the paddock and he's got plenty of heavy ground for him. Looked tremendously well, won twice in heavy ground for Richard Spencer, now with, with Michael Dodds. He looked really well. He does seem to find ways of getting beaten. Last time he was stumbling at the start that didn't help and couldn't quite get on terms. And I also sort of feel that he doesn't quite give his rider everything in the closing stages. But these are definitely his ground conditions. Enderman is going to be one of the last to go forward. Anything else to mention quickly, Eddie? Um, not, not greatly, except that Bluebell time does tend to run well after a break. And she's, she's off, coming back off for uh, 52 days off. Yeah, and her latest run at Bath was relatively quickly on the back of a win um, prior to which she'd had a, a similar sort of break to what she has today. So that could be quite a, an interesting angle with her Bluebell time. He'll break from store seven. She's a little bit more towards that stand side, which hasn't really looked the spot to be during the afternoon. Willingly is going in quite strong in the market. Two left to come. Let's go to Mark. Enderman moving forward now with Graham Lee to complete the lineup. They're in the gate. And they're off. 
through the very early stages. Willingly was away alertly. Not so Louis Trez, now in those blue colours with the white cap. The blindfold came off just a little bit late as they raced through the early stages. Willingly tracking across towards the near side with Holback and Enderman and also Lucky Beggar. The group over on the far side headed by some nightmare and then Louis Trez making up for that slightly slow start. Next is Stallone who's racing alongside Cape Columbus and at the back of the field and already been ridden along is Bluebell Time. Already they go through the halfway point. Willingly in the centre still just about has the lead. Holback towards the near side rail. Over on the far side is Some Nightmare. Those are still the first three. Lucky Beggar and then Enderman next. On their tails is Stallone. Over on the far side, Louis Trez. Now Bluebell Time is trying to pick up with Cape Columbus right over on that far side. They're fanning out right across the course here with a full and a half to go. Willingly still has the lead to Some Nightmare in second. Stallone with the red headgear is staying on towards the near side and staying on very well. They're deep inside the final furlong now. Willingly still has the lead to Stallone on the near side. Stallone creeping close with every stride, willingly sticking his neck out, willingly and Stallone, followed home in third by some nightmare, then Enderman and Cape Columbus. Willingly, well named, because has held on willingly from Stallone in second. Second again for him, that's three on the bounce that he has found just a one too good. Some nightmare in form, remains in form, but couldn't quite land the hat trick. And Enderman not beaten too far in fourth. Cape Columbus probably never nearer um, than late on. The fifth horse home, but willingly at eight to one for Mark Usher and Tyler Hurd takes the penultimate race heading. Yeah, very, very well named willingly. Who tended to edge towards the stand side early on but ended up drifting back across over towards the far side. was chased by some nightmare. This is still a good effort from some nightmare who's been you know, climbing the handicap. And Stallone doesn't quite do things quickly enough. He's won over seven furlongs here. Doesn't quite do things quickly enough to catch Willingly, who just pulls out a little bit extra when needed. Enderby was closing them both down and finished fourth. Kate Columbus stole one. Never looked fast enough to, to contend... Uh, until the closing stages when he plugged on for fifth.